Oh, me? Oh, well, you should have gone to the theater. I mean, if more people would go to the theater... I wouldn't be your favorite waiter. I'd be your favorite actor. The last time we went to the theater, it was depressing. Oh, what was it? A musical comedy. Oh, um... <laughs> well, would you like to order? Supper? Dinner? No, I don't think we're hungry. We had dinner earlier. I'm not really hungry. How about you? <laughs> we're not hungry, Charlie. How about a snack? You want a snack? <laughs> Just friends, Charlie. All the way to Dallas. I'll be right back, okay? Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't call. I'm sorry I didn't pick up your prescription. Doesn't matter. I was very busy. I had a lot on my mind. Now that it's doing well, the business requires a lot of time. Really doesn't matter. I'm glad it doesn't matter. Doesn't I don't keep you awake. <laughs> you know, business just doesn't lie there being successful, making money, and needs time and attention. And affection. It needs, a, it needs someone to lie with. I know exactly how it feels. <sighs> Sorry about that. You ready to order? We've got a great Welsh rare. Just drinks, drinks Charlie. Uh, just drinks. Two Manhattans, right, Mr. Carter? Two Manhattans. Okay. No. What? I don't want a Manhattan. We always drink Manhattan. I want a change. I want a surprise. Bring me a surprise. One Manhattan and one surprise. We're coming right up. Oh, uh, Mr. Carter, I forgot. Is that Manhattan number on the rocks? The rocks, please, Charlie. Okay. Rocks for me, too, Charlie. A surprise on the rocks, little lady. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> surprise on the rocks. <laughs> Do you know how dumb that sounds? <laughs> oh, poo. What? Poo. When did all this start? Do you remember what the waiter said when we came in here tonight? Of course, he said, good evening, Mr. Carter. Well, that's when it started. Well, it's 10 o'clock at night, you expect him to say good morning. And then he said, usual corner, and he said, usual corner. So? So coming here for a nightcap is a nice habit. Always having the same nightcap and the usual corner is a rut. I'm run out. Okay, stand up. Why? I'm going to lead you out of your rut. David, will you please sit down? Oh, I can't sit down. My wife is trapped in a rut. And I've got to get her out of there. David, we've already ordered now. Sit down. I'm going to take you away from all this. Would you take me away after we've had our drinks? Follow me. To where? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> will you stop saying that? You're the one that didn't want to sit in the usual corner. We'll go over there and sit at an unusual table. Feel 
disease. Guess I just wanted something different. Well, get something different. You're the one who had a fit because I didn't order Manhattan. I didn't care what you wanted, just as long as you knew what you wanted, but you didn't know what you wanted. I wanted a surprise. Well, why Manhattan and why not?
I wouldn't have worked that hard just for that. Excuse me. Uh, this is what you wanted? Sure. So how you been? Fine. Is that the truth? No, but it's quick. Mr. Carter is here. David's here. Now? Mm -hmm. What's he doing? Just having a drink. Well, see how much better off we are? Oh, right. I don't think he likes the situation. Maybe if you met and talked to Cashman? Maybe. Excuse me. Anything else? Another drink? No, I don't think so. Thanks, Charlie. Mrs. Carter is here. Alone? Yeah. She's just having a drink. Why don't you go join her? Just over there. I think I in a, in a 